The following BLTV program is brought to you by O'Flaherty Law. Please enjoy. Welcome to Learn About Law. My name is Kevin O'Flaherty from O'Flaherty Law, and today we're going to explain the duties that executors and trustees owe to the heirs and beneficiaries of Illinois estates. First, let's talk about the difference between an executor, an administrator, and a trustee, and define our terms a little bit. An executor is the person responsible for managing a probate estate when there's a valid will and they've been named in the will as the executor of the estate. An administrator is the person responsible for managing a probate estate when there is no valid will or the executor named in a will is not able to do so themselves. A trustee is the person responsible for managing the assets of a trust for the benefit of the beneficiaries of that trust according to the terms of the trust. We're going to refer to these collectively as the personal representative of the estate. So when I say personal representative, I'm talking about all three of these roles. Next, let's talk about what a fiduciary duty is. A fiduciary duty is a heightened legal responsibility that the law places on people in positions of trust with respect to other individuals. So if I'm walking down the street and I don't know you, I don't have any particular fiduciary duty to you. Even if we're friends, I don't have a fiduciary duty to you. But if I'm managing the estate in which you're a beneficiary, I have a certain heightened duty to you that the law can hold me responsible for that they otherwise, the law wouldn't otherwise be able to hold me responsible for. So what fiduciary duties do personal representatives have to beneficiaries and heirs of an estate? Um, there's a general fiduciary duty and several specific duties that fall within the general duty. But let's talk about the general duty first. Personal representatives are legally required to carry out the terms of a will or trust with the highest degree of fidelity and good faith. So that's a catch-all uh, fiduciary duty. And now there's about six specific types of subcategories within that that people can be held liable for if they don't do the right thing as a personal representative. The first is a duty of loyalty. A, a a trustee or an executor or an administrator is required to act only for the benefit of the beneficiaries. They can't use their position as personal representative to benefit themselves or other third parties. The duty of impartiality means that the personal representative is required to not favor one beneficiary over another. If there's a possible dispute, the personal representative should try to reach a consensus among the heirs and beneficiaries. If a consensus is impossible, then the personal representative should seek court approval for any decisions before making them in order to protect the personal representative for personal liability for breach of this duty to act impartially. The duty of reasonable care is one that most people understand. Uh, this is the duty to manage and invest the assets of the estate or trust as a prudent investor would. The personal representative is entitled to use a financial advisor or other financial pro uh, professional to guide them in investing these assets in. Much like the duty to act impartially and seeking court approval, this will shield them from some personal liability for making bad investments, but they're still required to supervise the actions of this financial professional prudently. So that's the duty of reasonable care. Manage and invest as a prudent investor would. The duty to preserve property is a requirement that the personal representative use reasonable care and diligence uh, to preserve and protect the property of the estate. Now, this means a lot of things. This is they're required to gather, manage, and maintain the assets of the estate. They're required to keep all of the property that should be insured, insured, and they're required to prevent forfeiture. So, make mortgage payments. Don't let uh, don't let property that should be part of the estate be given up to a third party. Um, the duty to account is the most laborious and painstaking of the duties, but this is the duty to keep clear and current records of assets, liabilities, and any transactions uh, that occur within the estate or the trust. If records are unavailable, any accusations of impropriety will be decided against the personal representative. So the records are really there to protect the personal representative. The personal representative will be liable for any injury to the estate or trust caused by a failure to keep proper records. And the trustees, uh, uh, trustees of a trust are required to make an annual accounting to the beneficiaries of the trust and a, an accounting whenever the trust is finally dissolved and wound up. There's a duty to manage claims, and this is to prosecute any claims that the estate or trust may have against third parties, but also to defend claims against the estate or trust by creditors or other people that claim that the estate or trust is liable for something. The personal representative is required to defend the will or trust against 
will or trust contest unless it would be uh, clear to the reasonable person that any such defense would be futile. So those are the main specific fiduciary duties that a personal representative owes to the beneficiaries and heirs. But remember, again, the general rule is good faith, fair dealing, and not acting in your own best interest as a personal representative, but acting in the best interest of the beneficiaries and heirs. So if you, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments section below this post at learn-about-law.com or below the video on our YouTube station. If you found this helpful, please subscribe to us on YouTube, iTunes, and SoundCloud, and you'll be notified of our daily article and video posts. If you need some help, give us a call at 630-324-6666. That's 630-324-6666. We offer free consultations, and we have offices all around Chicagoland for your convenience. Thank you so much for watching and listening. Thanks so much for watching our video. If you have any questions, feel free to comment below. Click the subscribe button for new videos every week and download and review us on iTunes. Visit learn-about-law.com for other legal-related articles and videos. Visit our business podcast and video blog, seizeyourbusiness.com. And visit Making Real Estate Fun for real estate videos and podcasts. Call us at 630-324-6666 for a free consultation.